My name is Candace Motley and I'm owner of Garnish Hair Studio and Extension Bar here off of Creedmoor Road in Raleigh and I'm super proud to be a Coastal member. I was looking to move into a new space because I had outgrown my little space. I was an independent freelance hairstylist so I had my own studio, my own suite and I had already done a little bit of construction to make that a little bit larger but it was still a one person suite. I had aspirations to have a much bigger studio to employ more people and to really have it be like a tangible like brick and mortar business not just me in a suite. Coastal really helped me to be able to put that together in a way so that it was a lot easier and Lewis even visited the construction site as we were going through the different phases. He really was there for me every single step of the way. This is my very first business. I had zero experience I had so many questions, I was nervous, it was intimidating. He really made it super smooth for me. He answered every question. He was really amazing. She brought in her financials. Uh, we looked it over, you know, it was kind of on the borderline about what we were gonna do there. Uh, but she had strong cash flow, she has a very bright personality, and, and I thought, you know, if she should take a chance on someone, Candace is someone she can take a chance on. I was super pregnant, <laughs> super pregnant when I went through the building process. The day that Lewis called me and told me I was approved for my loan, I was in the chair in my house. It was a recliner chair. It was gonna be my nursery chair. And I remember just like sitting up <laughs> and my boyfriend looked over at me. He was like, what, Is it, what's going on? I'm like, no, 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 nothing with the baby. Nothing's going on. I got approved for my loan. I'm thankful we did the loan because it would have been easy to say no. This is the type of loan where, you know, it, it was on the fence a little bit. I'm glad we took the risk and I'm glad we did the hard work to say yes instead of the easy work to say no. To be around other like-minded individuals and stylists and to give them the same opportunity that was given to me, it's kind of like a throwback into my own community. So that's, that's pretty cool. I feel like we have something pretty special in here and it just resonates. Uh, we specialize a lot in hair replacement and extensions, which for women, we we are our hair. Like if we're having a bad hair day, we are having a bad day. To see that same woman that walked in with her shoulders down and her head kind of down, strut out of my business and her shoulders are back and she feels amazing, she looks alive. That's a pretty powerful feeling. And just to know that the space is here and that we create that environment to have that happen because of something that I just kind of conjured up in my mind three or four years ago is pretty spectacular. I'm very proud of Candace because she took this loan, you know, from a bare walls uh, strip space, built it out beautifully. You know, it's really a pleasure to go in. And, and, and for me doing the loan, I know the money was used well and she can pretty much do whatever she wants moving forward. She could have 20 stores if she wanted to. She has the work ethic, the drive, you know, to get things done and, and kind of change the market, you know, in her direction. She's definitely a very talented hairstylist, but I think she's even a more talented businesswoman.